Hi, my name is Maya. I'm a junior at MIT studying computer science and mathematics. And in my free time, I like to sing and make music with my friends. Today, we're going to be learning how to make a program that can navigate through a maze in Java. First of all, what do I mean when I say a maze? Well, I mean a 2D grid of a bunch of characters where asterisks represent walls, um, spaces are just open space, I is the input or the start of our maze, and O is the output or the end. So you can notice here for this maze, if we wanted to get from I to O, we would have to go down twice, left once, and then down again. And you can see that the solution represents that using letters, where D stands for down and L stands for left. Now in this maze, we start over on the left-hand side. And in order to get to the output, we have to go right, down, right, right. And you can see that in the solution where R represents right and D represents down. We don't have an example here, but if there was an, a, for a situation where we wanted to go up, we would use the character U. So let's see what an example program does. When I run this, the first thing it's going to do is ask us for the width of our maze. So I'll do one of the example mazes that we said, and that one was just four by four. Then it asks us to enter the maze and it specifies all of the instructions I just walked us through. Another thing that it says is it asks for there only to be one correct path and no dead ends. And the reason is because if those two things aren't true, it becomes a lot harder to solve the maze. So let's type in the example, one of the example mazes I showed you. So just to remind ourselves, to solve this maze, we want to go down, down, left, down. And exactly, that's what the program told us. So now that we have an idea of how this works, let's jump over to a blank project and start working on our version.